Yesterday closes as a bear channel within a trading range, two V tops with a V bottom in between. Since today opens within the trading range, the top and bottom of that range are likely support and resistance today. Today on the 30-minute chart, yesterday formed a V bottom and a V top, so the market is in a trading range. Today's context for the open, the market is opening within the trading range going into yesterday's close, so expect the high and low of that range to be support and resistance for at least the first two hours. The first thing I ask myself during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today's example shows how to read the market when it opens within the broad trading range of the previous day. The sell-off starting from bar 4 forms a V-top, which is further confirmation of trading range behavior. It's generally safer to short below a good-looking bear signal bar, but a friend of mine likes to use a 4-point stop and enter aggressively at resistance, so that is a way to catch an early short entry. Bar 10 is a big bull bar near the bottom of the trading range going into yesterday's close, but it has a large tail on top, and entering long on a stop order is a bit too close to the open of the day, a magnet on trading range days. Bar 12 is a bull reversal bar, and second entry long near the bottom of the trading range. It's reasonable to enter long on a stop order above it. It would be a better signal bar if it closed near its high. The fact that it did not should be a warning that the bulls are not especially strong. Every bear bar here is followed by a bull bar, so the bears are not strong. The market is still at the bottom of the trading range, so you should be looking for a long setup here. Bar 36 is a bull surprise and a good signal bar, but a stop order long above it does not get triggered. Bar 43 is also a good signal bar. Bar 44 triggers a stop entry long, but closes as a perfect doji. I have mentioned in previous videos that if you have not taken partial profits and the market produces a perfect doji, you should exit your entire position. Bar 48 is a good signal bar near the bottom of the trading range. It's reasonable to go long on a stop order above it. Still, the market barely makes 1x risk before selling off again, so after this trade I decided to stop trading for the day. Today ends in a trading range into the close, the same trading range into the close as yesterday. Low volatility days are often followed by higher volatility days. On the daily chart, the market has produced an inside bar, so tomorrow should have a larger range.